Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm doing a very comprehensive Mockingbird single to double stroller review here today. I really want you guys to be able to make a decision for yourselves, a very educated decision on whether or not this stroller would work for you and your family. I have a big list of pros, but I also have a fairly big list of cons as well. So make sure you stay throughout the entire video so that you can hear everything that has to go into this stroller. I also have a lot of little clips here and there about us going to the pumpkin patch, how I used it at Costco and things like that, how it kind of intertwines into our daily lives so that you guys can get a good look just at how this stroller works in everyday life. So hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, make sure you subscribe down below. I do lots of grocery hauls on my channel, lots of lifestyle, lots of motherhood and a lot of homemaking type of stuff. So let's jump right into it. First off, this stroller was sent to me by a mockingbird. I did not pay for it. It was gifted to me in exchange for a review. But within that whole conversation with the Mockingbird company, which by the way, I was the one to reach out to them first, they let me know that it's totally okay if I go ahead and give you pros and cons, which is great. I only really like working with companies that are totally honest about their product or their company. The very first pro for me is that on smooth surfaces, this stroller is a dream. You guys, it just glides. It's super easy to push. I can push it with one hand, which is definitely necessary as a mama. You guys know that. I guess I should also let you guys know I do have two kiddos. So I have a two year old and I have a four month old, almost a five month old. So we've really gotten a good use out of this stroller with everything that it has to offer from infant down to toddler. Aside from smooth sailing with this stroller, I love the huge basket underneath. If you guys are also moms, you know what a big deal this is. I fit four coats for all of us, the diaper bag, plus some dirty diapers, let's be real. We had some snacks in there and I also had dog leashes under there. I'll also insert a clip right here of everything that I fit into it on a certain Costco trip so that you guys can get a good idea. Okay, you guys, I brought my stroller to Costco today. I just have one kiddo in there, obviously. Sis wanted to be worn. She's a little bit grumpy this morning, so she needs some extra mama cuddles. But I brought the stroller for Logan because we're doing a very small Costco haul it's for a party that I'm doing and I want to show you guys what it looks like doing like some grocery shopping with the stroller because the underneath basket is perfection while we're walking in let me show you this oh my gosh you guys I have never seen a parent organizer or like stroller caddy stroller organizer whatever you want to call it this one is their parent organizer be as big as this one this is my full-size hydro flask that I can never fit in any cup holder even in the car and it fits like a dream like a stinking dream and it doesn't even like tip or anything with it on there. I am so happy with this parent organizer. It's like amazing. I love all the space in there. That's a wipe that <laughs> I'm using for sis. Amazing, I love. I just gave Logan his little bar for snack. That's what he chose for today. We love this snack tray. It is so amazing. Worth it to me to take it off in the car just so it doesn't get damaged. But if you have a larger trunk, no problem. You could definitely keep this on the seat and it would be totally fine, I would think. Love that the cup holder has like, they're not silicone, maybe like a harder plastic that they can keep the drink in there. We really liked this so far. Can you put this on here and show them the size? It's pretty darn good size. And I love the deep wells in here too because I could actually put a snack directly in here like Cheerios or something and it wouldn't be falling out all over the place. You love this tray, huh? As soon as I put the snack tray on, he was all about the stroller. He was so excited. So I wanna show you guys like this stroller. Literally, it's so easy to push. I can drag it from anywhere and it just immediately goes. Love Mama. that it's easy to push, it's smooth, but that I can turn it with one hand. I can turn and push with one hand. That's a big deal to me. So it's like super easy to maneuver. As you can see, I'm doing that all with one hand. I've done the exact same thing when I have two on there too, because that does make it a little bit harder to push, but that's to be expected with any stroller because you're adding extra weight. So love of love. We're gonna grab two things of grapes. One of these is gonna be for our little baby shower, but I know that I'll use all of those for that and he's gonna want some. So I'm gonna stick these guys down here. Can you guys see just how deep that bottom bucket is? It is so big. Here's my two things of grapes down there. They're side by side, you guys. They're not even overlapping each other. I can't get over this big basket. I love it. <laughs> Do you like it? Now he's a happy boy. This snack tray coming in so handy. Look at all these Costco snacks. Oh, the rice, yeah. That's rice and quinoa, madras lentils, 
the little, I've shared this with you guys before, the Chicago mix of popcorn and then the harvest pea snacks. Just cause I know you'll ask. Take a look at my cart here. Look how much stuff fits in this stinking basket. I love it. Let me show you everything I have down here so that you can really grasp everything. Underneath everything is two of those full four pounds of grapes. Remember, this is all Costco sized stuff. This is not regular grocery store sized stuff, right? And then I have two things of strawberries, four pounds total. We also have a pineapple sticking out the front here, three to five pounds of bacon right here. We have three cinnamon roll, like little pop tubes in there from Annie's, some Sugar House maple breakfast sausage, and an entire pumpkin loaf right there as well for the party. We also have our lemonade in the back there and a thing of blackberries in there. Holy cow, I still can't believe how much this fits. That's incredible. We just got out of Costco and I'm gonna clean up his seat real quick. I just wanna show you guys like how easy it is. This is just a baby wipe and everything wipes right off. It's amazing. Also with the tray, you can take it out. I dumped it out and then now I can wipe it down. Obviously much harder with two hand or one hand, but the great part about it being modular is you can take it off and do all that kind of stuff. So just thought I'd show you super easy to clean. You guys, I love this lower basket if it wasn't clear. I think every stroller should honestly come with a lower basket like this. I don't know why they don't. It's just massive, you guys. I also really love that they made the lower basket unzippable. So I'm gonna show you a clip right here of what happened at our pumpkin patch and why that is totally necessary. Okay, check out how cool this is. So I put that pumpkin down here and it definitely got some mud and stuff in there, right? And I actually pulled out most of it. And then I realized you can undo this. Okay, undo the Velcro, undo the zipper, and you can just dump it out. Oh my gosh, this stroller, you guys, they've thought of everything. This is incredible. This is what every stroller needs to have, 1000%. Along with the unzippable basket, the footwells are also unzippable. You guys, this is a huge deal. Your kiddos get out, they wanna play at the park, they wanna play in some mud, whatever you guys like to let them play in. And then when you put them back in the stroller, you realize, oh my gosh, their feet have gotten muddy. They've tracked dirt in, there's a ton of dust in here. They dropped their snack and there are goldfish crumbs all over the bottom of the foot rel foot well, foot rest, foot well, whatever you wanna call it. You guys, it unzips, it's fabulous. I'm gonna insert a clip right here of me doing it right after our Costco trip. Also super easy, you can unzip this all around the footwell and just release all the gunk that way. I'm not gonna do it over the stroller right now and I don't have two hands to hold this up, but you can see it completely opens. So you can just dump your stuff out that way too. By the way, I had pizza sauce and stuff all over this, so I should say Logan did. And look, it's just wiping right up with a simple little, this is the water wipes, baby wet wipes. I also love how there are tons of configurations. So you guys can go onto their website and look at all the configurations, see if there's something that works out for your family. It's been actually kind of fun, like playing around with them and putting them in different seating positions, putting them in different um, seats. Like I always have Logan in the toddler seat, but sis will sometimes be in the carriage or she'll be in like the infant seat insert in the toddler seat. And it's just kind of fun. So while I feel like the pros are really big pros, I do have some cons about this stroller. They're more like, like nitpicky things. So this is where it comes in. Like you need to use your own discretion to decide if this stroller is right for you and your family. I feel like on bumpy surfaces, my kids are kind of bouncing around quite a bit. I have a video here when we were at the pumpkin patch and I can show you guys going over like some rocks and gravel. It wasn't terrible, but it's definitely not meant for off-roading. Before I filmed this video, I actually asked Derek, since he's been pushing the stroller around a lot as well, what cons he had. And the con that he had was that it doesn't have a brake on the handlebar. The only strollers I've ever seen that have brakes on the handlebars are jogging strollers. That's like a completely different class of strollers. You can't even compare the two. It's like comparing apples to oranges. So I don't really know if that's a valid con. However, I can see exactly what he means because living in a hilly area, this stroller takes off and it's hard to like, you have to use almost your entire body weight to keep it from running you down the hill. Along with that, I think that kind of goes to show this stroller is heavy. 
It's not an easy one to lift. You gotta have some strength to you. It's also not like a really super packable travel stroller, right? This is a full size double stroller. So let's just take that for what it is. You guys, I cannot lift this stroller over a curb by myself. And I don't know if that has to do with like the weight distribution and like how that works with like the middle of the stroller. When I push down on the handlebar to lift the front of the stroller to go over a curb, it doesn't. This con, I wish it wasn't a con, but it is. My two year old does not fit well in the stroller. My two-year-old who is in about the 70th percentile for height is scrunched in this stroller. He's not even two and a half yet. He's about 35 to 36 inches tall and his legs are scrunched up into the handlebar anytime he's in there, at least I feel like. And the biggest thing is that his feet don't even fit in the foot wells. So I think that was a major issue with how they built this stroller. And he only wears a size seven toddler shoe. That's pretty tiny. The foot well is great. That it can unzip and be dumped out. I think every stroller should have that, but his foot doesn't fit in the footwell, so that is also a problem. The other problem comes in where the footwell can be adjusted by him kicking his feet up. So he'll get his foot stuck in there and whether he means to or not, he kicks the footwell up and then gets frustrated that the footwell won't go down because you have to use the buttons on the side to get the footwell to go down. An easy way to fix this is just if they were to make the footwell able to go up and down from only the buttons, not from lifting alone. This con may or may not be a big deal to you. It totally depends. For me, it doesn't matter a whole ton, but I was actually a little bit surprised by it. It scratches really easily, you guys. Like I barely put it into my trunk and rubbed it up against a rubber part in my trunk and it scratched the entire side of it. I feel like because this is a stroller that isn't necessarily used for rugged type of things and you're looking for like a luxury stroller for less, you probably want your stroller to look nice. And I just feel like this kind of, ugh, they could have made it a little more durable with the materials that they used. This one is actually one that I'm surprised about. I didn't think that this would matter a lot when the stroller came in. I noticed it right away and I thought, oh, we'll never need to use that. And it's actually kind of a big con for me. The sunshade doesn't come down far enough. Now they do include an extra sun sunshade canopy that you have to attach to the canopy and then it like comes down over your kiddo. I've needed this extra canopy several times. The issue is that it's not attached to the actual canopy. All in all, I hope this was a comprehensive review for you guys. Honestly, it's a great stroller and I can see how if you're a major shopper or you like to go into stores and you need a double stroller or you live somewhere where it's relatively flat and not super bumpy, you would love this stroller. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and it was helpful for you to make the decision on your own. We'll see you next time. Bye.